Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this group of cordyline into Visa trees. For this project I use the following images as reference. So, let's start. Here I am in a blank scene. For this scene I set the units to feet, and I use the Misty Forest preset as environment light. As you can see I've already loaded the materials for this project so we can start faster. So now, I'm going to add a trunk tube generator. On the spine tab I set an absolute length of 22. And on the skin tab I set an absolute radius of 0.3. I also increase the right hand point of its blue curve so it doesn't get too small towards the top. Then, I drag the bark material onto this trunk. As you can see, it looks too repetitive. To fix this, we can go to the UV tab and increase the twist amount a bit. Now I'm going to add a branch tube generator. For the generation mode I'm going to use absolute steps. And I'm going to choose 6 steps and 12 tubes per step. For the length I'm going to use the absolute value because I don't want their size to be rescaled when I change the length of the trunk. And then I set the boundaries of these branches, I put them at the very top. After that, I went to the skin tab and changed the radius of these branches. This is just to see how they are looking. Now we are ready to change these tubes to spine only. You can do this by going to the skin tab. And I'm going to add a frond generator on top. As you can see right now we have too many subdivisions. To decrease the horizontal subdivisions select the frond generator, and in the segments tab decrease the absolute number. I left one subdivision so we can add some fold to these leaves. Now I'm going to edit their start angle. To do this I used its green curve and gave it the shape you see here. And I also added some variance so it doesn't look too uniform. Then, I hid these yellow lines so I could see the changes better. After that, I went to the Gen tab and increased the spread value. We can also add some variance in the position and rotation to break up the uniformity more. Now I'm adding a gravity effect. I grabbed its blue curve and increased the effect at the tip of the leaves. If we change to the scribe mode we see there are unnecessary vertical subdivisions. So, I went to the segments tab and here I used the absolute length value instead of the relative. Then, I used the distribution curve to move more divisions towards the tip of the leaves so the gravity effect here looks smoother. After that, I grabbed the green curve of the gravity parameter and made this effect weaker for the leaves at the top of the trunk. Here you can see there is a visible hole at the top of the tree, so, I selected the frond generator and pushed the start value to zero. I also changed the width of these leaves with the width parameter as you can see here. We can also notice that these leaves are too perfectly aligned, so, I went to the Gen tab and here increased the roll parameter by a small amount. At this point I wasn't happy with their look so I made changes to the previous parameters. For example, I increased the gravity effect at the middle of the leaves and I added some variance to it. I also added some late noise amount because they look too straight. I decreased the turbulence of this noise so it isn't too chaotic. With the blue curve of the amount parameter I reduced this noise towards the base of the leaves. Then I selected the frond generator and increased the roll parameter so they didn't look too flat when looking from the sides. Now I'm going to add dead leaves. To do this I'm going to duplicate this pair of nodes and drag them onto the trunk tube generator. The first thing I'm going to do is to change the boundary values. Then, we can go to the geometry tab and here change the material. Now I'm going to edit their start angle. To do this first, I reset its green curve so we can start from the scratch. Then, I increased its value and added more variance. I also changed its green curve a bit as you see here. Now I'm going to edit the gravity effect. For this, I'm also going to reset its curves. Then, I increased its value and variance. I grabbed its blue curve and decreased the left hand point so it looks like it has more volume. After that, I selected the frond node and decreased their width. And with the blue curve I made the tips of these dead leaves thinner.
As you can see the geometry of these leaves is still the same as the other leaves. In this case, we don't need too many subdivisions, so I decrease the absolute length of segments to a lower value. Now I'm going to make a group of this tree, so the first thing I'm going to do is to select the trunk tube generator and change the generation mode to absolute steps. I chose a value of two steps and four trees per step. Then, I change the boundary values so they don't overlap each other. After that, I decrease their start angle and then I set a negative gravity value so they bent upwards. With the green curve I made this effect stronger on the inner trees. And with the blue curve I increase this effect at the top of each tree. Now I'm going to change their length. Here I'm going to set an absolute value of 12 with a variance of 4. To make the inner trunks taller I increase the left hand point of its green curve. And to break up their alignment I increase the roll parameter. Then we can add some variance in the rotation and position. Even though I edited their length they still seem to be too similar in size, so I changed to the node mode. Then I selected a trunk and on the left panel I increased its length a little bit more. Keep in mind that those node edits will disappear if you randomize your model. Now we can start optimizing the poly count. First I selected the frond generator's parent and went to the segments tab. Here I increased the optimization value to 0.3. Then I did the same thing for the dead leaves. And I also increased this value for the trunks. You can keep increasing this value until you start losing shapes. At this point, the model was done but I thought about making some changes and maybe adding more dead leaves. Here you can see I have another leaf texture which is more yellowish at the tip. What I want to do is to add this texture in these places. So, to do that, I'm going to select the frond generator and in the materials tab I'm going to add this second texture. I'll change the color of these second leaves for a moment so we can see their position better. You see that? By default, they are randomly assigned. So, I selected the green curve of the weight parameter of the first texture. Here I changed the parent level to the trunk tube. Then, I'm going to make a stair shape so that way we only have green leaves from the middle towards the top of each trunk. And I'm going to do the same for the other texture. But in this case the stair shape is going to be in the opposite direction. And now you can see the result. Another thing I wanted to do was to make the leaves of the taller trees more bent downwards. So I selected the green curve of the start angle and here I changed to the tree level. Then I changed the shape of this curve like you see here. The last thing I wanted to do was to add more dead leaves like you see in these reference images. To do this, I duplicated the dead leaves generator and here made some changes. I changed the boundary values. Then, I assign another texture. After that, I increase the number of steps to add more of these leaves. I also increase the late noise amount so they look more chaotic. And finally, I decrease their width. And now the model is finished. I then exported this model and used it in the following render. You can see the full image on my ArtStation account. I'll leave a link in the description. And that would be all, thanks for watching.